Hi Scorpio, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising. You might find though that this resonates more if Scorpio is your Moon or your Rising sign. Okay we have the six of swords in reverse so there's a feeling here of wanting to, to return to you i don't know if you're in a separation um or if there's physical distance between you you know either way there's a feeling of wanting to be close to you to reconnect to turn around to come and see you if there is a third party here i'm looking at the three faces on this deck um, and your person maybe chose someone else or another situation, there's a feeling of regret here. <clears throat> you know, oh, I've made the wrong choice. It's that sort of thing. Okay, yeah, look, we have the devil. So we have Capricorn energy, two of wands, and we have the knight of swords in reverse. So it looks to me that this is your reading if your person made some kind of decision, any kind of decision that pulled them away from you or in a, in a direction that sort of takes them away from this connection. And that is what they are currently really thinking about. I've gone down the wrong path here. How can I backtrack and go down the path that leads me closer to you, to the viewer? I feel your person wants to say something to you. Um, quite desperately, but they're not saying. So let's see. The star, we have Aquarius. And you see she's wearing a badge that says first. Yeah. So you are first for them. You are the, the one, the only. <clears throat> you are the star, you know, for them. Um, they could also see you as being some sort of a public figure or in the spotlight in some way. And they also are admiring you. You know, they're one of your fans, perhaps. Um the start of me is also it's about wishes they wish for you but it's about it's like your sort of your deepest desire that's pulling you towards it and it might not seem practical it might seem like how on earth am i going to get from where i am now over to there but if you act on faith if you just keep taking the steps as they appear one by one you will make it so they want you to know that they feel um a strong intuitive pull towards you as well um they feel very drawn to you in a way that they really perhaps can't explain. And maybe sometimes it feels quite intense with the devil here. Maybe even like it's it sort of verges on being a bit of an, an unhealthy obsession. But, you know, I feel right now and mostly it just feels great. It feels very high vibrational. I think this devil's more talking about this other situation they chose, how it's panned out. You know, it's a bit toxic or it's low vibrational or they were drawn to it because it was a distraction. You know, we have pills, we have cigarettes, alcohol, food, all these things we can use as distractions. But when you finish with those, the problem is still there or, you know, you are still the same person. So maybe they pulled away from you because they thought if you know they wouldn't have to change or they could forget about this or you know that sort of thing but it, it definitely hasn't worked we have the queen of wands so they see you as being very confident very attractive um there's a feeling of impatience here as well you see how she's she's sort of saying well i don't know what she's saying she's got her arm open she could be saying where are you are you going to say anything what is this nonsense you know it, but she's not happy she's she's sort of saying like what what's going on you know um she's she's yeah not happy not pleased um but at the same time she's not riled up enough that she can be bothered to stand up so they're seeing you in your power but they also feel that you're kind of dissatisfied about something that has happened and you might be looking at them and how they've behaved and you're saying seriously really okay we have the two of cups in the reverse you see at times they may have felt this connection was too intense it pulled them in too much let's clarify this <clears throat> we just had the ten of pentacles in reverse trying to slip out so for those of you where your person maybe is in a family situation they might have felt that you know this was a temptation your connection was a temptation and they perhaps chose to stay in the pre-existing dynamic situation because it was established there's money finances a home involved that sort of thing whereas with you they have all of the feelings and this connection um that's not tangible that can't be seen and it could even be when i say family it doesn't have to just be like a partner of karmic children it could be even their parents i know sometimes you guys leave comments saying oh it's it's their you know it's their mother or it's their religion or something like that 
um, they could have been feeling overwhelmed by the weight of all of that, you know, and they may have felt it was easier to stay in that situation than fight for this connection they have with you. Especially if it's something that they feel that they couldn't quite explain, it's something they couldn't show to people, it's almost fighting for a feeling. And perhaps your person, you know, is someone who is used to prioritizing head over heart or doing what seems logical or what they can see in front of them not what they feel <clears throat> okay we have the nine of wands in the reverse and we have the four yeah they want a new beginning and there's one that just fell on the floor oh my goodness two of pentacles in reverse yeah no more juggling no more indecision they've narrowed down their focus it's you if we you know if we take away one of these pentacles we're left with only one which is the ace of pentacles so they want to make an offer to you and there's a real impatience around this however they almost feel like they've backed themselves into a corner because i'm seeing a couple of things here they've done some things in the past that at least they believe that you're not happy about maybe you're not you don't care about them at this point maybe you do you know but their opinion is they've annoyed you in some way and you're still kind of annoyed um and if they come forward towards you they have to do so in a very um you know in in a proper way that you will look at them and you'll think okay this is worth my time and attention you're not interested any in anything silly anything um you know wishy-washy back and forth nothing like that so they feel the pressures on in that respect also it's almost like they've doubled down in some way in a practical sense within this other situation or in terms of pulling away from this connection so they've been building up something in a practical sense over here whereas what they really want now is to be over here but you know they've they've been investing over time in this other situation so it's like how do i now unpack this so i can get away from it um okay so yeah they want to offer something they're not sure if you're going to receive them well knight of wands you see that's exactly it you're saying no i'm a queen i don't want a knight you know i've seen this this behavior and energy of the knight from you before um i'm looking for a king i'm looking for um, an equal here so coming in they have to do more to convince you that maybe they have changed or they're showing up in a more consistent energy because in their mind the way you're going to look at them as they come forward is as a knight you've already got memories you have experience of how they've shown up you know and that's you're like you're wearing glasses that are ten, ten, <laughs> tinted with um with the lens of, of how they were in the past so they know they've got to sort of almost do double to convince you that there has been a change um okay so yeah that's their energy and their feelings really focused on how can i bring about this new beginning how can i come in with this offer um how can i convince you that that i have changed let's see knight of wands that's how they were what's the energy they're in now i think that's the lovers that just popped out it is so we have gemini energy here so the lovers is reversed um which to me talks about having made a choice the choice is you Clarify the lovers, please. Is there anything else? Ten of swords. Okay, and also regret and apology for having tried to maybe dismiss this connection in the past. The lovers, two of cups. You see, all of the emotion, the intuitive knowing was there, but there, maybe there was no tangible evidence. Maybe in a practical sense, this connection did not make sense to them. You know, so they went with what was practical and it's, it's really been painful for them and for you. <clears throat> What's the energy that they're coming forward in now, please? If it's not the Knight of Wands, what's the energy they're coming forward in now? Eight of Swords. Hmm. I'm quite disempowered there. We have the Sun in Reverse, Leo energy. It's almost like they want to offer themselves up to you. See how she's tied here to this um, cocktail stick? They're actually swords, mini swords. So they want to come forward. They want to speak their truth. And then they're just going to sort of stand there and be like, okay, I'm ready to take whatever you want to throw at me. I almost feel like, mm, I mean, that's good. Yes, but I wonder if you'd like to see them being a bit more dynamic, perhaps. Um... 
they're, they're very nervous. I'm not sure if, if, you know, if it will focus on her face. I don't think so. But um, her expression is shock, surprise. They're really anticipating that you might be cross with them. You might have something to say about how things were left, um, things that happened in the past. But, you know, they're willing to stand there and hear all of it. They're not going to run from it, is what I'm seeing. Even if they really want to, even if, it, even if it's uncomfortable, they're going to force themselves to stay, to hear you out, to almost accept the consequences of whatever has happened in the past. Okay, so... Let's have a look then at their deepest thoughts and desires here for you, with you, within this connection. So the deepest thoughts and desires, please, of this person that my viewer is thinking of at this time. <laughs> we have Aries energy, Aquarius twice, Capricorn, Leo, Gemini. Okay, the deepest thoughts and desires, please. Yep, look, Queen of Wands, again, it's you, their, their deepest desire is you, but sometimes, you know, the Queen of Wands can be almost like the other woman or the other man or someone who's a bit out of reach, whether it's because you do have, you know, a separate commitment or they do, or just because you feel that they are so admired by many people and you're lost in the crowd, you know, you can't quite get to them. <clears throat> Some of you may have this person and, and someone else you know on your side and they might be wondering are you going to choose them are you going to choose the other person okay so the deepest thoughts and desires please of this person towards my viewer oh my goodness two of cups wow so this is interesting and actually very encouraging it's so far we're seeing their deepest desires and thoughts do align with their energy and their feelings so there's no um, there's no tension, there's no war between head and heart and what they really want versus what they feel they should do. Everything is aligning. They want you, they want, you know, to be the chosen one, they want to reveal a truth, they want to have a new beginning and they're actually thinking, right, okay, I'm going to make this happen. We have the Seven of Swords and we have the Four of Swords. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords reversed. Mm. Okay, as much as you might be shining, confident, doing well, they do wonder or suspect if there's still some pain and heartbreak underneath in relation to them. You know, if they kind of stabbed you and then ran away and left you bleeding and they kind of wonder, have you closed that wound up or are you still in pain underneath? But you're, you're you know, doing very well at wearing a mask here. So I feel they have the desire to try and bring in healing um, and I'm hearing to see if the ending was the ending so if you maybe agreed it's over if you had an argument um, or if they just interpreted something as being an ending between you it's almost like they want to know was that really the end or one of the endings that we have been through on this journey together okay we have the eight of wands reversed justice libra energy yeah okay and the high priestess and then we have the tower on the back we have scorpio energy okay their deepest desire here that they're thinking about is they just want to explode in your life they just want to you know turn up and um yeah, look, strength is underneath the tower. They want to explode on the scene. They want to say, here I am. Here's me making up for sneaking off in the past or for sneakily keeping my feelings to myself or getting someone else involved in this situation. You know, whatever your situation is, we do have three birds here. It's like they're saying, I want to bring justice. I want to do it suddenly, quickly, when you might not expect it. I don't want to wait anymore. Um, there is so much thinking they're doing in quiet. Four of swords, high priestess. You know, even the Eight of Wands reverse, Seven of Swords, lots of this, uh, an energy of a hidden message here, hidden intentions. And in the middle of all of this is justice. Your person wants balance. Um, okay, let's have a look and see. What else can we get here? There's a desire to bring this out of the realm of, <clears throat> we both know in our separate spaces that we're thinking of each other, we have this connection. 
you know, they now want to maybe see you face to face or speak to you on the phone or something like that, travel to you even, and, and bring this into the physical as well. What's all this hidden knowledge, hidden messages, hidden communication, please? Three of Cups in the reverse. So wanting to, yeah, wanting to see you, maybe to talk about this over dinner or a drink or something like that. Wanting to reconcile. If they have a memory of you, you around other people, whether it's recent or in the past, that's something they hold on to as well. I'm seeing something about conquers. Um, I can't remember when conquers are about. Is it? I don't know. Autumn? Wouldn't be winter. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you know. Um, something maybe around that season. Um, if they, this, it's almost as well. There's something they want to tell you about a third party. Seven of Pentacles. Maybe you know the whole time they've been dealing with this third person or situation, they have been thinking of you. I was talking about them going down the wrong path, as far as they're concerned, thinking to themselves, "I, I chose wrong." Yeah, Two of Swords. So they want you to know everything they've been thinking about. Um, while there's been distance or, or separation between you page of pentacles wanting to make an offer they have something maybe that they're feeling more proud of now that they want to share with you for some of you there's absolutely um a conversation they want to have around a child or children they might be saying my child or my children are a concern as in i have to factor them into any moves that i make I also am seeing for some of you, it's it's almost as though your person, especially if you haven't been speaking during this time, they've really pushed through in terms of some sort of inner development, growth, whether it's spiritual, whether they've been growing um, in terms of like a more practical sense, you know, making moves in their life. Um, but it, it's like it, it, it was happening anyway through this connection. But if there's been a disconnect, that just sped up incredibly quickly. And there might have been something they've realised within the last month or two um, that's really got them to this place that where they're focused on practicality, moving this forward in a practical sense, bringing about a new beginning and taking the initiative here towards you, you know, rather than waiting for you to reach out to them. OK, so let's get some messages. So what do we want you to know? I'm being held up in some I'm being held up in a prison of some sort. Um, or self-imposed. Either way, I'm doing my best to get myself out of this. I will reach out as soon as I can. Please don't worry about me. Yeah, that's exactly it. They've, I think, for some of you, they could literally be in prison. For, for I think most of you, this is them saying, I, I literally walked myself via going down that wrong path into this prison I'm in, that I have created, that I have invested in over time. Now I have to deconstruct this and find my way back to the other path, which leads me to you. Hey, we have just because I love being intimate with you doesn't mean I'm using you or being a player. It's just my most comfortable way of showing you my love for you without words. OK, and this could also apply if you've had lots of like, um, you know, flirtation from your person um, and passion. But then when you try to turn the conversation to something maybe that's more heartfelt or meaningful, I don't know, maybe they disappear, something like that. But I'm seeing this reflected in that Queen of Swords, uh, Knight of, sorry, Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands energy. <clears throat> you might have felt that this sort of energy of passion, intimacy from them, it's felt a bit immature because it's been ungrounded um, in some way. <clears throat> Don't be surprised if I show up at your door. Wow, okay. <laughs> Um, will you please send me messages via, via social media that let me know you're still thinking of me? I'm going through a hard time and need to know you're not going anywhere. And we have, I'm making plans for us behind the scenes. I don't want you to know about yet. I'm setting us up for a bright, stable future and want to impress you next we talk, which I do see. And, you know, with this pentacle here, I think they have something or at least the beginnings of something that they feel quite... Um, proud of and, and would be happy to share with you. Okay, so let's get you messages from Spirit. We'll start with Tarot and then I have a few Oracle decks as well. 
So, Spirit, what are your messages, please, for my viewer around this connection? Anything hidden? Anything you want to share? Any advice? We have, oh wow, the Six of Swords in reverse. Spirit saying they're coming back. That's exactly the message, the first card of the whole reading that we started with, the Six of Swords in reverse. So yes, um, your person is now much more open to listening to those intuitive nudges and spirits confirming they're coming back around, they're coming into your life. We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Wands, Hanged Man in reverse. Yeah, there's going to be a chance for a new energy here, a new beginning, a new cycle to begin. I think there could be a bit of, not tension, but there, there are some things that need to be worked out, as in the passion is here, the desire is here. But you might need to try and get on the same page around something. You might hold different perspectives in some way. There might be practical things you have to sort out, you know, okay, how is this going to work? Page of Swords, so they've been watching you for some time. If there's no way for them to watch you, um, you know, whether it's social media, asking about you, that sort of thing, um, they have been thinking about you, they may even have been researching things about this connection. Why do I feel this way? What are soulmates? What are twin flames? Or, you know, um, advice on how to apologize to someone. It, it could be anything, really. I am noticing she has on a ring and it's a star. So there is some way in which they feel that maybe lots of people have your attention or you're watched by many people and actually they are one of these people in the crowd that you might not have been seeing or noticing. <clears throat> um, we have the Four of Swords. Wow, Three of Swords. Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's almost like your person comes in, you both think, okay, great, let's move this forward. But then you have to almost take a step back and address some things that have happened in the past and reconcile those within yourselves and, and with each other and then move forward. Almost so, you know, so that the past doesn't repeat itself or that there's no resentment carried forward. So Spirit's encouraging you try, you know, to try not to skip that step, even though, of course, it's not comfortable and you probably would rather both just jump forward with this more excited page of wands energy hanged man queen of cups in reverse please <clears throat> yeah i thought so queen of pentacles so for those of you where there's a third party specifically a karmic or um, a mother or a very dominant feminine energy that person will still be around when your person comes forward to connect and um you you know you're gonna have to work something out and ask them, well, what's happening with that situation? Um, what are your intentions? <clears throat> this is someone who, at least in your person's mind and how they feel about this other person, this is someone who is very concerned about appearances. Um, if they were emotionally invested with your person at some point, they don't seem to be any more. And let's say it's, it is a parent here of your person. Um, it's almost like this parent is more concerned, again, with appearances and what they think is correct for your person versus your person actually being happy. Um, very, very controlling. You see how she's got her hands on her hips and she's leaning forward at us. You know, this person's very much in your person's business. You probably know all of this. This this person's not a surprise to you, but they are still around. Yeah, two of pentacles in reverse. So there will need to be a conversation, you know, okay, what's happening here? What do you intend to do about this? Um, especially if you don't want to step into a third party situation here. Or maybe it was like that in the past and, and you're done with that. Um, Okay, so let's keep going. What else, Spirit? We have, I trust my inner guidance. My soul knows the way forward. Wow, and that's exactly what your person's doing right now. And, you know, you can definitely trust your inner guidance here as well. We have, I am safe to explore new love with others. Okay, so this could literally be if some of you were thinking about opening up to other people, it's safe to do so. Um, maybe you were wondering, is it right, is it wrong, should I, shouldn't I, and spirit saying, if it's what you want, if it feels right, you absolutely should and can. Um, also, if this is about the new love, the new cycle coming into this connection, I do feel it's safe to trust 
whatever your intuition is telling you you know if your intuition is telling you i do think a change has happened um you know then allow yourself to accept that i anchor the boundless light in my heart i am divine okay so you are the creator of your reality here so always remembering your own personal power <clears throat> okay what else please We have confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Okay. You know, and this um, lion looks pretty worried. It's almost like the lion's forgotten that they're a lion, you know? So again, that goes with this message about anchoring the boundless light, the, the infinite potential here within you. We have look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Okay. <clears throat> So in these talks you have with your person, don't get too bogged down in the details and overwhelmed. Okay, and then we hear yeah, adjustments are required, third quarter moon. So there's going to be a need to, you know, adjust, work things out together, plan together, talk through things. But, you know, keep stepping back, look at the bigger picture. Ultimately, this is, you know, someone you want to, to move forward with, to build with. And that's what it's all about. If that's how you feel, of course. Okay, let's finish with one of these. We have wonder. It's a wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder. And when I'm a good audience to my life, my life becomes better and better theatre. When something delightful happens, I can shout encore and be tickled when it happens again. When something maddening happens, I can laugh it off. Either way, I'm glad I got a ticket to the show. Okay, so are you, you know, are you strapped in for the ride here? Because it's almost like... Um, spirit saying your task at this point is to be receptive and to um, respond mindfully versus reacting also this definitely definitely tells me that your person is one of your admirers or observers in some sort of way here and disguising themselves incredibly well you'd never know you know all of these people look like they're exactly the same person but one of these is your person here so it could be you know that they're doing it anonymously quietly if they ask about you it's in a very subtle tactful way that never really gets back to you um it could be if you have an online presence they have a fake account or they just don't actually directly interact with you but they're always watching um okay so i will leave this here let me see what i um have planned for tomorrow um Mm, okay so a reading that looks at, with three different sections at love if you're single partnered and in a current relationship or if you're separated from someone i don't know not really feeling that right now <laughs> i will do that one but it's not what i'm drawn to right now we'll see though but um i hope this helped thank you so much for being here and um hopefully i will see you again soon bye